Hey guys, how are we doing today? So, as you can see, I am not at my desk. I am somewhere else. I am in an office building, and today, for the first time ever, I'm painting my first mural on this big wall here. So I'm actually borrowing a friend's camera for this, and I've never really vlogged before, and it feels weird and uncomfortable. I'm gonna be filming the process from start to finish so you guys can see how I tackle this. Who knows what's gonna happen, even I don't know yet. It's a good experiment for me and looks like a lot of fun. So I tried to use a projector to project my image onto the wall, but because of the space here, it is so small that the projector couldn't really get good size on the wall. So I had to opt for the grid method and I used this chalk spring liner to string it across the wall and then flick it. And then it leaves a nice solid line across the wall. The only problem is because it's chalk, when you flick it, the dust comes up and you have a chance to breathe it in, which I did, and it's not very pleasant. Next step is to start drawing. Now, I said I wasn't gonna use a projector, but this part right here that I'm about to draw is a bit tricky, so I thought I could just wing it and see what I can do. I only get a small section here, but just be enough for what I need. Just a quick note with the time-lapse footage, you may see flickering across the screen. It's annoying and it's there, I couldn't get rid of it. I'm sorry. All right, so the line work is complete. It didn't take as long as I thought it was going to, so I'm super happy about that. But now that that's done, there's only one thing to do. Start painting. Say hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> oh, someone's got the camera. <laughs> Ta. Ta. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have our box of paints. Alright, so here we go. First brush stroke. That is blue. <laughs> Go. Pretty nervous. Hell yeah. All right, now we'll see if I can actually use a brush properly. All right, here we go. Oh, let me go. Alright, so with this tiger, because this paint is so light, the actual texture lines that I drew on are coming through. So I've had to do two layers of orange on this tiger and it is taking up a lot of time. Yo! Alright, so just like the orange before, the lines were showing through underneath. So I decided to scrub out as much of this texture that I could. So it's just faint and then hopefully I only need one layer and then the underneath won't show through. Cross fingers.
All right, so I'm about to do the top sections with the two reaction little notification things. Um, I did buy some acrylic, some very fluoro acrylic. So this will be really nice to see how this goes compared to the latex paint that I'm having trouble with. Yeah, this little So I found out afterwards that this acrylic paint sucks and I should have just gone with golden. side of this tiger but I'm going to for the first time use some spray paint not really experienced with that but we're gonna see how it goes things should turn out well at the moment I'm just masking off areas that I don't want to hit with paint all right so just as I was about to start with the shading I realized I bought the wrong orange it's much lighter so I'm gonna have to go get a dark one so off to the shops again So I realized that I do a lot of little things off camera that I should probably record, and this is one of them. So I need to put stars in all the blue sections up the top and on the tiger. I could paint them individually, but instead I've made this god-awful contraption here. What we've got, stencil, little stars that I've cut out, and hopefully I can just spray them and it will work perfectly. Cross fingers. I actually can't believe how good it looks in person. Just want to highlight as well. Check this out. These little stars, that's pretty damn cool. Blends up into the sky. Ah, I love it. I love that detail. Up here, got a terrible looking masking job there. I'm gonna spray that. So I just add the shade across the top orange and then hopefully 
that's everything done. I'm just gonna look like monstrosity spraying this. I'm gonna film it. I'm gonna be spraying through a big box as well, and it's gonna look really dumb, but should get the job done. So, I forgot to bring a mask again. And last time I didn't bring a mask, I got paint all up my nose and got a huge headache because I was spraying for about an hour. All right, so this time, shove this over my face and see how we go. Look like an idiot, but sacrifice I'm willing to make. <laughs> all right, so the idea of the box was so I didn't get any spray paint on the outside on anything I didn't want it on. But by spraying it, it just filled up the whole entire box area with the paint and it was just all in my face and I just couldn't hold it there any longer. It's actually pretty funny because when I'm close to the end of a painting, this is also how my desk looks. Just absolute chaos everywhere. It's been such an awesome experience. So much experimentation and trial and error and I've just pushed through and I've managed to get this result. The whole thing looks like a vector image and it looks pretty sick. I'm really happy with it. Ladies and gentlemen, I have finished. Looking back on everything I learned through this, I can't wait to do another mural. Painting on paper and painting on a wall has its similarities, but also it's a whole nother ball game. I didn't know what to expect and I tackled it in my own way and I love it. So thank you all for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.